Hey guys, today I'm going to show you part one of my new boat build. This is going to be a small plywood boat that I can carry myself, and I want to take you through the entire process, from start to finish. But first, I have to close this shop up, since it's freezing cold outside. It's 30 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so I'm bundled up because I'm using my friend's shop, which doesn't have heat. The first thing I'm going to do is lay out the hole on a single sheet of 5mm plywood. This boat is being built largely from the Micro Mouse plans by Gavin Atkin, and I'll link in the description where you can find these plans for yourself. I've already laid out the bottom, which is probably the most difficult part to lay out since it's a complex, symmetrical shape compared to the mostly square dimensions we'll be marking out going forward. My process is pretty simple, and I managed to mark out this whole boat using a 12-inch square, despite some dimensions being larger than 12 inches. For the chines, I would just move my way along the edge of the board, making marks at 12 inches and measuring further from that. I make a line for each section of the chine, which is shown on the plans. These lines don't actually connect yet, but once I finish the entire chine, I will go through and make a line that connects each point on these. I'll show you this here in a second. For now, I'm just trying to make sure that my dimensions are correct on each section, because that's the important part. If the chines are too tall or too short, then that can be compensated for once everything's together. And here you see me marking the chine out by connecting all of the little reference points that I made on those sections. I kind of freehand this, but I do use the square for some larger portions of the lines, since I don't want them to be, you know, incredibly crooked or anything. It's pretty straightforward, and all you gotta do is connect the dots. Now I'm marking out some various bits and pieces, the mid-frames, transom, etc. These pieces are all square, so they're pretty easy to mark out especially using a square since most of the time I'm just measuring from the corner of the square outwards. Now, I did actually goof on the transom dimensions at first. I made it about three quarters of an inch too short, but I went back and fixed it by just adding that onto the end uh, on the board. So in some later video pieces, you might see my scribble of oops on that section of the transom, so that's a little easter egg to keep your eyes out for as the build progresses. On this section of the plywood is where the mid-frames go. On the plans, it shows there's a little more room, and I ended up with a little less. I think my bottom is a little bit too long, but you'll find out later that that is probably the case. I think I put a couple extra inches on there that I wasn't supposed to. That's not a big deal though. Like I said, dimensional accuracy when you're cutting it isn't necessarily the most critical thing. Uh, you can always adjust that later on by sanding or cutting off the excess material. You just need to make sure that they're at least the dimensions on the paper. Otherwise, you might end up with a part that just short, and you kind of have to get an entire new board to cut a new one. Once I finish marking out this second mid-frame here, then the boat is complete as far as marking out goes, and we can get on to cutting it out. Cutting it out is the part that I was the most nervous about, because if I mess up there, I have to get a whole new sheet and start again. 
Here, I'm labeling everything so that I know what I'm working with once I have it cut out. It's actually really important since you need to know where each individual piece goes, and a lot of them are kind of similar in shape and size. Now I'm getting the board up on a couple of sawhorses so that I can cut it out with a jigsaw. You could do this on the ground by setting it on top of some boards, but I really liked working with it at kind of waist level. This plywood is pretty light and flimsy when it's just a big sheet, so what I decided to do was put a couple of old boards on top of it to hold it down and keep it relatively flat so that it was easier to jigsaw. Here, I'm doing a trick with the power cable of the jigsaw to keep it from unplugging mid-cut. This is really handy if you're using power tools on an extension cord. And I spent the better part of my day listening to this. It wasn't super loud, so I didn't really have an issue with it. Most people recommend wearing hearing protection, even for stuff like a jigsaw. And honestly, yeah, you should definitely do that. And wear safety glasses. Even with them on, the last boat that I built, I ended up damaging my left eye, and it's still not really perfect. Could have been much worse though, so please wear them. After cutting out the pieces, this is what I was left with. An entire boat, sans assembly. I'm really happy with how this came out, and I was excited to get it together. But that'll start in the next part, where I show the stitch and glue process I use for cheap plywood boats like this. Thanks for watching, and stick around for part two. It'll be coming relatively soon. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and subscribe if you want to watch me build stuff.